Poland's Prime Minister Donald Tusk takes over from Herman Van Rompuy on the 1st of December as the new president of the European Council at a pivotal time in EU history. The challenges ahead are formidable. Europe's economies are only slowly recovering from the financial crisis. Unemployment is high. Conflict is simmering in neighbouring Ukraine. So Tusk has more than a full-time job on his hands in Brussels, with tasks that are highly political and often technical, and he'll also chair summits of leaders in countries using the euro single currency. As a first step, the Polish Premier must give up all political posts at home. He now presides over the European Council, whose members, the leaders of the EU's 28 nations, have elected him. The Council sets the EU's political direction and priorities, but it also handles crisis management, whether it be economic or in times of conflict, when decisions must be taken at the highest level. Careful planning is a key to success as the President prepares and chairs the summits and drives work forward. It's a job that requires great political skill and an ability to forge consensus from 28 points of view. L'intérêt de, de son état euh, coïncide avec, finalement, à terme, avec l'intérêt européen. S'il n'y avait pas cette volonté de trouver des accords, de faire des compromis, s'il n'y avait pas cette volonté politique, on n'y parviendra pas. Et donc c'est mon rôle de faciliter tout ça. Tusk has a mandate for two and a half years. His term can be renewed once. The Council has four scheduled summits annually in Brussels, but generally meets more often. Merci, Monsieur le Président, chers collègues. In the days that follow them, the President reports to the European Parliament on the results. His office is in Brussels, but the President also represents the EU on the wider international stage, along with the European Commission President and High Representative. He is the face of the Union, at summits with major world powers and at the UN General Assembly. Je représente l'Union au plus haut niveau. Donc, ce qu'on fait, c'est de présider des réunions de ce qu'on appelle nos sommets avec nos partenaires stratégiques. Donc, ce sont des réunions importantes. These tasks and more await Donald Tusk, only the second president of the EU's most powerful institution, when he takes his bow in Brussels on the 1st of December.